So the factors affecting the stability of the complexes. The first factor that affects the stability of the complexes is the charge of the metal ion. That is, higher the charge of the metal ion, more is the stability of your complex. For example, the stability of Fe and between Fe, C and 6, 3 negative. Okay, so first of all, we need to calculate the charge of the complex. So let us calculate that in this x minus 6 is equal to minus 4. So that gives you x is equal to plus 2. So the charge on iron here is plus 2. In this, it is x minus 6 is equal to minus 3. So x is equal to plus 3. So the charge on the complex is plus 3. So this complex is going to be more stable because the charge on the complex is higher or the charge on the metal ion is higher. So as the charge on the metal ion increases, the stability of the complex, it increases. The next factor upon which the stability of the complex depends is the size of the metal ion. That is as the size of the metal ion decreases, the stability increases. So if we culminate our previous one also, it means if the charge increases and the side size decreases, the stability increases. So the order you see which is written here, this is known as the irving Williams series. That is the irving So this series tells you about the stability of the transition complexes in this order. That is the stability of the transition complex formed by Mn2 positive is less than the stability of the transition complex formed by Fe2 positive which is less than CO2 positive which in turn is less than Ni2 positive which again is less than CO2 positive but then CO2 positive stability is greater than Z2 positive. Now why does this order happen? This order happens because we know on a periodic table as we go from left to your right the size decreases. So the ionic radius of Mn2 positive is higher than the ionic radius of Fe2 positive which is in turn higher than the ionic radius of CO2 positive. That is the ionic radius it decreases on moving from left to right in a periodic table. However, we know that copper 2 positive has a higher effective nuclear charge. So copper 2 positive's ionic radius is greater than Z2 positive's ionic radius. That is why the copper 2 positive's complexes are more stable than Z2 positive complexes because the ionic radius of a Z2 positive is greater than your ionic radius of copper 2 positive ions. So this is the irving Williams series. It gives you a order of the stability of the transition complexes formed by these transition metals. Next we have chelate effect. Chelate effect is one of the very most important factors in, uh, which determines the stability of a complexes. So the chelate effect states that the chelates are more stable than the non-chelated complex. We had discussed what chelates were. If any, if any metal atom is attached to a didentate ring, to a didentate donor atom, it forms kind of a ring. Then that didentate donor atom or a tridentate or tetradentate or whatever it is, that is known as a chelate chelating ligand and the entire complex is known as a chelate. So we know that chelates can only be formed by ligands which have at least more than one donor atom which can donate to the central metal atom at the same time. So those are chelates. So ligands that is the complexes in which there are two donor atoms in which both can donate at the same time those complexes are more stable than those complexes which have just a monodentate or an ambidentate ligand in which rings are not present. That is what it means is the rings grant the stability to the complex. The presence of the rings is what grants the stability to your complex. Now as the number of the rings increases, the stability of the chelates increases. That is COEN3, 3 positive and CO En2 NH3 whole twice 3 positive. Between these two, this will be the more stable complex because in this 3 rings are going to be present whereas in this complex 2 rings are going to be present. 
So the first complex is more stable than your second complex. And if I write CO NH3 whole 6, 3 positive, then this has 0 rings. So this is the least stable complex. So as the number of the rings increases, the stability of your complex or your chelate increases. Next, does the stability depend upon the size of the ring? Yes, it does. As you move up to 1, to 2, to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6, as you move up to 6 carbon atoms in a ring, the stability increases. That is, if a ring has 2 carbon atoms, its stability is going to be less than a ring which has 3 carbon atoms or a 3-membered ring, not just carbon, any other atom also. So, a stability of the 2-membered ring is going to be less than the stability of 3-membered ring, which is going to be less than the stability of 4-membered, which is again going to be less than the stability of 5-membered, which is again going to be less than the stability of 6-membered. But does that mean the stability of a 7-membered ring is going to be higher than the 6-membered? No. The stability of the 7-membered ring is going to be lesser than the stability of the 6-membered ring. That is, the stability increases up to 6-membered ring and then starts decreasing again. That is, 6-membered ring chelate is the most stable. That is, stability, it increases up to 6. increases up to 6-membered ring and then decreases again. Now, what if there are bulky groups attached to your didentate, bidentate, uh, didentate or bidentate? They are the same thing, didentate, bidentate, tridentate, tetradentate or pentadentate ligands. Now, if there are bulky groups attached to your bidentate or tridentate or tetradentate ligands, then what will happen is that the bulky groups are going to show steric repulsion with each other. And if the bulky groups are going to show steric repulsion with each other, that means the ring is not going to have as much as of a stability. There is going to be ring strain. And if there is going to be ring strain, that decreases the overall stability of the ring. And if the overall stability of the ring is decreased, then the overall stability of the complex will decrease. Because the ring is the thing which is providing the stability to the complex. So, if bulky groups is attached to donor atoms or adjacent donor atoms, the stability of the chelate, it decreases. Mm -hmm.